effort to clean up blight in a place that many say is a city with the most unique architecture in our state. Columbus is poised to launch a sweeping program aimed at helping that city's most challenged neighborhoods. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt went to Columbus and has the details. The city of Columbus has nearly a million dollars to eliminate blighted homes like this one in three centrally located neighborhoods. In the heart of Lincoln Central, one of Columbus's core neighborhoods, boarded and blighted properties, homes no longer viable or suitable for human habitation. And it takes just one home to impact every other home on the block. Building up our neighborhood, building up the homes around here would, would attract a better crowd of people around here and would help us out with our property values and with our crime rates as well. The city of Columbus has a plan and money to fund it, targeting 36 homes for demolition. Equally important, the plan also has a construction component, one that requires a new home go up on the property. It's a way that community development coordinators want to leverage growth and economic investment in the city's most challenged neighborhoods. And we make a new investment uh, through the private sector of new houses in these neighborhoods that's only going to lift the entire neighborhood up and you know it'll have a positive influence over the values and desirability of uh, the neighborhoods that we're working in. The city has targeted 15 homes in this area alone, some of them empty and boarded for more than six years. Eliminating blight, residents say, will bring a rebirth to the neighborhood and to the people who live here. That's a great idea because at the moment they're uh, They've been empty for quite a while and they're attracting too many bad uh, drug activity and not very good for the neighborhood when we have children here. The city plans to begin demolition in the next 30 to 60 days, which would get these properties ready for new construction next spring. In Columbus, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.